Hey everyone, now since so many of you have asked for this, I've finally taken the time to bring you this video with the minimum frame rates of the AMD Ryzen CPUs I've tested so far. In the previous reviews and comparisons, all I did was show you the average FPS. So now the question arises, how smooth is Ryzen after all compared to their Intel counterparts? For this comparison I will be featuring three Ryzen CPUs, namely the 1700X, 1600 and the 1400. As a small bonus I've additionally added the overclocked 1400 to the charts, the 4GHz overclock. These Ryzen chips will be put up against Intel's i7-7700K and i5-7600K. And now let's not waste any more time, let's get those minimums in. Okay, so all in all AMD's Ryzen indeed does allow for a smooth gaming experience, but it does come with some hiccups here and there. Overall Intel still dominates in terms of raw gaming performance, but I'm only speaking of the i7 there. The i5 doesn't always shine either and depending on the game it can drop behind by quite a bit. The best performing chip on the AMD side in games is the 1700X though, shouldn't be really much of a surprise. But the significantly cheaper Ryzen 5 1600 is up there very close in fact. So for gamers, this might be the best go-to CPU for the money. However, if you want the ultimate gaming CPU right now, no matter the cost, you should go for the 7700K by Intel. As I've already addressed in my standalone review of the Ryzen 1400, its gaming performance is partially very poor and often can't even keep up with an i5. Although it's the flagship i5 model, the 7600K, so go figure. But once you crank that CPU multiplier up and overclock this bad boy to 4 GHz, it suddenly becomes very competitive, making it a pretty good chip even for gaming. From the games I've tested, Far Cry Primal, Rise of the Tomb Raider and partially GTA 5 is where Ryzen drops behind the Intel offerings in terms of frame rate. And in some instances the minimum FPS is quite shocking, but to be honest, not really that noticeable when actually gaming, at least I didn't really notice any any significant FPS drops. I'd like to apologize for having only tested this with a GTX 1070 GPU, so there is some bottlenecking going on, but it's all I have. You know, I don't have tons of money to spend. But anyway, this is where I'm gonna end this video. I hope you enjoyed this comparison as much as I did making it. And as always, thanks for watching.